how to create NFT art designs with Canva. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create different NFTs to sell using the Canva platform. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you're going to log into Canva using your email account or your Gmail account. You can use either one, and then you're going to be greeted onto your basic dashboard. Now on your basic dashboard, you're just going to click on custom size over here on the right, and then you're going to select the size you want. Now, if you're comfortable with pixels, you can start off with pixels and I'm going to go with a 1200 by 180 pixel size but you can go with inches if you find that a bit more comfortable for you to work with but I like to work in pixels so you can even lock the size of your canvas so you don't move it accidentally and you have this fixed size but I'm just going to click on create new design and this is going to open up a new tab now there are many ways for you to create your NFTs. You can choose to add your own graphic elements or add one of those graphic elements provided on the Canva platform, or you can go and upload your own images. Now for that, you're just going to click on upload media over here. You're going to go into their upload section first. You're going to click on upload media. And then you're going to go into your media and you're just going to open up the item you want to upload. So once your item is uploaded over here, so it's going to show up in your images section. You can see over here now my item has been uploaded and I'm just going to select it. And now I can just size it onto my canvas. So I'm going to place it over here. I'm going to resize it so it fits my canvas accordingly. And now you can see I have placed my basic image. Now, once you have your basic image placed onto your NFT canvas, you're going to start by adding your details. Now, with any NFT, you want your product descriptions on the bottom, or that's how I would want to style my NFT. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my element section. And before I actually add a description, I want like a black box just over here on this section where I can add all of my details. So I'm gonna go into my element section and you can go into your lines and shapes. You're just gonna select one of these basic squares and you're gonna change the color from over here at the top left. You're gonna make this black or you can choose to make it whatever the NFT color is, the deepest color in your NFT. Canva platform is gonna give you photo colors over here and within your photo colors, you can select one of those as well if you choose to design your NFT like that. So you can do that as well. And then you're just gonna resize your actual block to fit the section that you want it to cover. So it can be like placed over here and you can just try and test it out if you want this to be on the top or on the bottom. But I actually think it would look nice like this or a bit thicker. Yeah, this looks pretty good. So once you have your section designated over here like this, place it how you want it. And after that, you're just going to click on the te text section on the left. And you can choose to add one of the font combinations or you can just click on add heading. Then you're going to add whatever your details are about your NFT and you're going to just click on the top over here so you can change your font and all of that from here. Find a font that you actually like and change the text color to white and once you do that you're just going to resize it and drag it onto your actual box that you have. Now after that I'm just going to take a look at the different fonts to make sure that it fits the look that I want for my NFT and we're just going to keep on looking and deciding on a font that we want and this looks pretty good so I'm just going to resize my text like this and then you're just going to do control c and control v and then you're going to add your description on the bottom as well and then you're going to do select your text and then you're going to make it a smaller font so make sure your description size is smaller than the actual uh, title size that you wrote for your box now once you have done that like this you're going to add your qr code as well so to make space for my qr code i'm going to expand my box like so, and I'm going to just replace my text, drag it over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a frame. I'm just going to search for frame in the element section. So you're going to go into your element, you're going to search for frame. And you can see one of these basic little frames over here. So make sure you don't select a rounded frame, just select a square one. So you're just going to place that over here. We're going to place this. And now what you can do is you can start adding your image on top or your QR code on top of your basic frame over here. So you're just going to go back into your upload section. You're going to upload media. And obviously with each NFT that you have, you're going to have your own unique QR. 
you're just gonna click on upload and you're gonna wait for your QR to be uploaded and then you can drag it and drop it over there and now you can see our little QR has been uploaded in this little section now if you don't like the frame you can definitely just delete this delete your frame as well and go back into your element section and look for a frame that doesn't have any borders if you don't like the bordered look because I don't like the bordered look either I don't think that it looked good so I'm just going to select this one and hope that this does not have any borders I'm just going to place it back over here we're going to go back into our upload, select our QR code for our NFT, place it over here and no, this is just going to be a trial and error kind of process for you to find certain things on this platform. But if I go with this rectangular section, I think this might actually work. I'm just going to place it over here, go back into my uploads, select the QR and place it like so. And now it's going to cut off my QR. So I'm going to have to go with another one. And maybe I will just go for this rounded one and hope that it works well with QR edges because you don't want you want to make sure that the edges of your QR code are intact on the actual frame because if those are cut out then this is going to ruin the entire purpose of your QR so actually this fits perfectly and our QR looks great so now we have a nice little section detailing our NFT and our NFT in the background obviously I have quite a few detailed videos on how you can mint your NFTs as well but this is how you design your NFT using Canva now this is just one basic way that you can create your NFTs on Canva Canva, you can definitely go into your basic dashboard again. You're going to click on create new design and without uploading any images, just with your QR code that you have for your NFT, you can go and start creating a totally unique NFT using the elements on Canva. So you can just go into your element section, search for maybe let's just search for pink because I like pink. We're going to go into the photo section and you can see a lot of royalty free images and you can start designing off of these images as well. So you can just place multiple images or just add a bunch of different things onto your section and go into your graphic section, add a couple of graphics onto the section as well like this and you obviously you can just keep on designing add a couple of different things and you can design your own digital nfts with canva as well without having any design experience or any uh, know-how of how to use those different design apps or adobe or anything like that so this is also possible you can just add a few different backgrounds on an image add a couple of hearts like these and then you can do a pixelated person on top and that's going to be your entire nft so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own nfts of any design on the canva platform make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video